I'm Ian McKeith. I'm the president of the Lewy Body Society and I also lead the International Consortium on Dementia with Lewy Bodies, which has led the research effort over the last 10 or 15 years. I think most people now are familiar with the idea of dementia as uh, a loss of mental abilities uh, that sometimes comes with ageing. Uh, the scientific developments which led us to recognise dementia with Lewy bodies probably occurred in the late 1980s, early 1990s. It was around that time that we developed new staining methods in the brain that allowed us to see Lewy bodies in areas of the brain where previously we didn't think they were. Dementia with Lewy bodies is the second most common cause of dementia, particularly in older people, but sometimes affecting younger people. We think there are probably about 700,000 people in the UK with dementia, and of those, about 100,000 probably have dementia with Lewy bodies. So in other words, one in every seven cases. Dementia with Lewy bodies is often really quite different from other forms of dementia. Patients have very different symptoms, um, particularly the visual hallucinations. In other words, they see things that aren't there. Um, and also the Parkinsonism, the tremor and slowness and instability of gait. Um, but also on many other occasions, patients with dementia with Lewy bodies can look very similar to other types of dementia, such as Alzheimer's disease. And that is where the difficulties occur for doctors trying to make an accurate diagnosis. The, the most common stage that people with dementia with Lewy bodies come to medical attention is often when they develop a symptom such as visual hallucinations because of course these excite great interest. Um, so somebody might for example start to report seeing um, intruders in the house on a regular basis. Um, another example would be if a person started to develop persistent cognitive failure. So I saw a patient not so long ago um, whose wife complained that he had become unable to um, fold a tablecloth in the house. Now it sounds a very trivial thing, but in fact the, the task of working out which way round the tablecloth went and which bit went where suddenly was too difficult for him to, to do. Relatives of patients with dementia with Lewy bodies rate that person's quality of life as being worse than death in 25% of cases. And the reason for this is that People with dementia with Lewy bodies have got multiple burdens to deal with. Um, their condition also fluctuates. It's variable from one minute to the next, from one day to the next. It's very unpredictable. If you're caring for somebody with dementia with Lewy bodies, it's not always possible to plan uh, even for the hour ahead because you don't know what the person's going to be like. I find the information that the Lewy Body Society offers to patients and carers through the website to be a particularly useful thing in the clinic so that after we've finished the diagnosis and the discussion about the diagnosis I will always give them the website address and recommend that they go there to look for additional information which they can do at their leisure and then they can contact the society with additional questions or requests for information. The Lewy Body Society is the only charity uh, dedicated to supporting Dementia with Lewy bodies uh, in the UK currently. Um, it's been instrumental in developing information which is available for carers and also for professionals caring for people with dementia. It also has started raising funds to support research students like Marzena, the PhD student who works in our laboratories in Newcastle. For more information, please visit our website www.lewybody.org Thanks.